Ola time for me to play a little favorite of mine. Picto picks. Just uh, fun. Playing uh, starter levels. Is it gonna just fly right through him? What's the difference here? Uh, no hint. Let's make it boring. I don't want the puzzle to tell me what's right. Especially the early ones. Because it's super easy. Backwards F. Or F. Mm. See, I'm a god. Love. The cross. Picto picks. There's some fun little puzzle rules. Especially the tinier ones, you just don't really have to think too hard. Not a lot going on. She can just fly through them. And they're a great show of the simple rules, because... I mean, if you know the rules, it's pretty simple. But, the rules are, you got numbers on the side. And they represent rows of squares. And then you gotta find where they are in here. So it's always, and there's always a space, like at least one square. So this one's simple. There's a three. And there has to be at least one spot, and then a one. That one's easy because that just adds up to five, so it just fills in. Same with the five here. Five, zero, there's none. And then one, three, one, three, three, one, three. 21. 21, 21, 21. 21. 21. <clears throat> 21. 25. There's definitely a whole bunch of little tricks you gotta do to find leads, but usually nothing complex. Real simple stuff. Nice. Nice and relaxing, puzzling, especially the five by fives, even the ten by tens. I don't think they really start getting hard to like twenty by twenties or twenty-five by twenty something. Nice. You know what it's, uh, baby. Baby, it's not baby. Ooh, see, here's the thing I like to show. Yeah, sink. Four. How do you know which ones there are? Well, you gotta think of all the possible combinations. See, it can be like that. Mm hmm. That's, that's all of them starting from the top. Then, what if you do? This. That's all of them starting from the bottom. That's also the only two combinations. What did you notice? And all possible combinations, they all overlapped there. And the better one shows the one and the two. See? Starting from the top. It could look like that. Very possible. And starting from the bottom, it could be like that. It could also be like that. But, so in all three combinations, what did you notice? That one was always a square. Of course, in this puzzle, it's kind of easy because you have these fives to kind of tell you that on their own. But that's the that's a big rule. Fill in lines from the farthest points from each other, using only one space between all the numbers, and when a number overlaps with itself. You got money. And that is a flower. Mm hmm. Flower. Very good. I mean, these threes are also the same to you. Standing the possibilities one, two, three. One, two, three. 
first three, last three, and they all overlap here. It's not a quick way because you can test all combinations, which there's just one more, it's the three in the middle. And all three of those possibilities, they overlap right in the middle one. That's just, I think that's just the most important thing you can do in Picross. Is us knowing where all possible combinations can overlap. And you really only have to test out two combinations. So, pretty easy. Pretty simple puzzles. Ooh, a broken anchor. Mm hmm. That was too fun. Uh, what? Oh. I was like, how do, how do I not have a lead? In this baby game with a stupid goose. Scared the shit out of myself. My coaster stuck to the bottom of the cup and I didn't even know. And then it fell on me and it scared me. It made a loud noise. <laughs> Well, I'm dead, so... Don't mourn me for who I was. Mourn me for who I lied I am. Ooh, a frog. Mm-hmm. Weird-looking frog. I wonder why has three legs. I don't know if he'll ever tell us. Ooh. A hammer hitting a nail. Yep, that's what that means in Spanish. Hammer nailing. Tetramonies. It's true. I wouldn't lie to you about Spanish. What do you take me for? Oh, that was... Was that really the first page? Huh. Nice. Well, that's all I gotta say about that. I love you.